What's up YouTube, I'm Robert. This is the Biker Channel. Today, we're gonna climb all the way up to the top of Toad's Wild Ride and see how much fun that is. <laughs> Five years ago, almost to the day, I drove up Highway 50 to Lake Tahoe so I could pedal up to Mr. Toad's Wild Ride for the first time. Back then, shuttling to Big Meadows, it was the only way I could imagine doing the ride. That four mile, 1700 foot climb kicked my rear end. With a high elevation of almost 9,000 feet, breathing was hard. Pedaling was harder. Here's most of our group. MTV Savant, apparently a little better climber than us. And making my way down the five miles of DH, that was fun, but it was demanding. And at times, had me on the edge of my skill set. On that ride, a friend started at the end of the trail and rode up to the top, so that way we could ride Toads as a point to point. At the time, I thought he was crazy, but when he was napping on the rock waiting for us, I knew he was a special kind of crazy. Yeah. How long you been here? I got here at uh, 10 minutes till 2. <sighs> How long time is it now? I don't know. 2.25. Also about half an hour. Yeah. Never did I imagine, five years later, I'd be that special kind of crazy too. Top of Fountain Place Road. As you can see, a little bit of a barbecue up here. The good thing is, we have like five more miles of climbing. <laughs> Gotta touch the gate. It's ceremonial. Boop. <laughs> at this point, we're at the top of the road where most people head down Armstrong Connector. Instead of that, we headed up Armstrong to make our way towards Toads. You wanna leave it locked out because we're climbing as soon as we get over this bridge. Sweet into the pain cave, humbling seeing how much destruction that fire did. You're looking at this and it looks like a freaking war zone. Big thanks to Tamba and all the volunteers out here cutting trees and getting these trails back open because it's definitely, um, as you can see, hours and hours of cutting trees. You ride Tahoe a lot. Donating some money to Tampa is not a bad idea. Getting pretty close to the top of Armstrong. This section here is a, like your little break before the last push. This looks like a hiking bike. And it is. Not a biker ride without a hiking bike. <laughs> Just about to the saddle. I'm gonna guess the elevation somewhere around between 8,000 and 8,500 feet. And uh, you can breathe, <laughs> you can breathe it. You can feel it, the breathing is tough. As you crest the top of the hill to the top of Armstrong Pass, or as I like to call it, the saddle, you have options. If you're over it, turn around and ride all the way back to the bottom. So we just came up Armstrong. This is your way to get the Star Lake or over Friel Pass, highest mountain bike trail in Tahoe. I'll do that on an upcoming video. So if you want to see that, hit subscribe. And then this is, there's a way that you can shuttle to the back here and park and then it's only a mile climb, hike a bike to get up to here. And some people do that to go down Armstrong. So we're gonna go up Big Meadow over here and uh, keep the supper fest going. The old shot blocks at maximum capacity right now. <laughs> I've never been this way, so we'll see how this plays out. Oh, I'm glad that tree's down. Now I don't have to make an excuse why I walk this session. Uh, this is that elevation where everything feels like a pain in the ass. Just a little bit of a problem here in front of us. Pow pow! <laughs> a few down trees. Fucking <laughs> like alligator right here. Right? Here you go. There's the alligator. <laughs> it's crazy how your energy is diminished at these high altitudes. Even getting your words out is tough. Gotta be getting close to the top. How's it going? Just us two. Oh, just myself. Let me hook you up with some stickers, man. You sure? 
I brought them all the way up here. You might as well take some. <laughs> Cool. Thanks, right man. on, man. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Appreciate it, yeah. dude. What's your name? Andrew. Right on. Good meeting you. After what seems like the top, you get a very little short blast of downhill, but it's quickly met with some more climbing. But don't worry, you're almost there. This is one of those beginning of the season rides when the trail's sort of there. <laughs> As much as I'm enjoying complaining about it, I'm also enjoying the challenge. That sounds ridiculous coming out of my mouth, but it's true. Okay, well, maybe I wasn't really enjoying it so much right here, but hey, let's get on with the rest of the ride. <laughs> let's play bikes. There you go. You want to see this way ahead of time? Follow the Instagram. Oh, wow. Now is a good time as any. If you're enjoying the content, hit the thumbs up or the subscribe button. It really makes me happy and uh, keeps me motivated to keep making content. So it's not that hard. Just click the button, man. <laughs> Why am I dumb enough to even try this? It's gonna hit fast. Jesus. What are you doing? No. I'm not doing that. This is it. All right. Woo! Finally made it up top. Got the toad sign right back there. The bike right over there. The trail behind me. It's full of snow. At least the entrance is. It's been quite the adventure to get here, but I'm looking forward to the next part because it's gonna be really fun. It's funny because I recorded this in spring just as the snow was going away. And now it's fall and it's just about to come back. The Tahoe season always goes by so quickly. So the moral of the story is enjoy it while you can because you have all winter to ride your local stuff. Now let's get back to the trail and get into some downhill fun. All right, you got it in fun mode uh, around the snow? Sure. Do a little, little detour right out the gate. The unfortunate part of riding in the spring is it gets Woo! muddy and, well, it gets on the screen. However, no matter what time of year you ride toads, the top <laughs> is by far my favorite. Through the snow, over the rock, to grandmother's house you go. <laughs> Lots of fun technical chunk with good flow all along the way. The snow is definitely making it interesting. These next two sections are, in my opinion, the hardest part of toads. If you can make it through this, you can pretty much ride anything at top.
Pull it. Pull the tracks down. Whew. All right. Woo! Slipping and sliding. Right? Whoa. Dude. That was, that was intense. Yeah. That was fun. As usual, it was more intense than I remembered. <laughs> After you make it through that section, things pick up speed. The further down you go, the less chunky it gets, and the speed and the flow continue to crank up. If it was up to me, I'd love the chunk at the top to last the whole way down. But many people love that the trail has the best of both oh, yeah. kinds of riding. So no matter which one you're into, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, it fills the plate with everything you'd like. So fun. <laughs> Playful through there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Getting busy. <laughs> Whoa. Must have been air bubble in the rear brake. Just sunk the lever. <laughs> Little jazz hands. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it was definitely a little chunkier than I remembered. Pretty intense. But the way that I remembered it was basically once you got through that section, pretty smooth and normal. So I can see how I stuck out my head that way. Little drop, that was fun. Sweet. Dude, sweet. Channeling my inner Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> As you can see, the trail has really spread out the technical bits and it's starting to have wide open flow sections. Although this is mostly the case from here on out, there are still a few sections that keep it interesting. Right here is one of those bits that keeps it interesting. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all the stairs. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Chunky through there. Yeah. We hear the fox working over time. <laughs> right on back into the burn zone. Yeah. Try not to look at it. Just focusing on the tech instead. <laughs> yeah. 
Just to show you the harsh reality of forest fires, here's a clip of me riding the exact same section you just saw. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm way slower. But look at the trees. It was really low-key depressing riding through here with the memory of how it looked. Hopefully by next spring, some color will start coming back and things will feel a little bit more normal. But for now, it's burnt toothpicks. So since there's nothing we can do about that, let's pump up some fun music and wrap up this ride. Kind of rollable. <laughs> That's what I like to hear when I'm on top. <laughs> going on with this one <laughs> that last one just looked too big it probably would have been fine yeah pussy <laughs> oh yeah wow 20 miles and like 3,700 feet of climbing. That was an epic day, lots of fun. If you haven't done toads, definitely come out and do it. There's a few ways you could shuttle it or you could go straight to the pain cave like we did. No matter what, remember one thing, it only takes a bike to be a biker. Get out and be one.